Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use Clink AI, a very easy to use AI generation, a uh, next generation AI creative studio that you can create images from just prompts or create videos as well from basic prompts. Now we'll start by accessing um, Clink AI and to access Clink AI, all you need is to come to your browser you can just go ahead and search for clinkai.com or just type in clinkai.com and it will bring you over to this very platform. Um, as usual, you can see this, these are AI images that you can generate. These AI videos that you can generate and you can explore also from what other people are, have created. You can see these are wonderful ones that others have created. You can use it to have an inspiration and as you hover over any of them, you'll be able to see the prompt that generated that particular video that you're seeing in this case it's in another language i don't know which language this is but you can scroll down and you can see some wonderful ones that you can see this is also another language uh this is english and then this is also english i kind of like this this role where have robot walking down a busy street and you can see the image and you can see the wonders of it you can see uh, any of them that you just uh, try to hover over, you'll be able to see the, the, the prompt that generated this particular image. And this is also a video of a majestic knight sitting in a vibrant field of poppies uh, with flowers. Okay, So you can just explore just to have an idea into what you are going to create or what kind of capability um, this AI tool has. Now to start, you have to of course log in. You can sign up with your email address and password. And then you can go ahead and start. Now let's try to generate an image, an AI image with this. And as usual, if you have used um, Leonardo AI or any similar AI tool, you should be able to be familiar with the prompting area, right? This is where you type in your prompt. And this is just going to give you a hint of what to expect. And then these are the settings where you set in the aspect ratio and you're generating, uh, generating count, how many videos or how many images are you interested in. You can vary the number from here directly. But it's at this stage, we're going to keep it at default. Let's go with four. And of course, it's going to uh, affect the number of units that you're going to use for each generation. Okay, so let's start with something very, very simple. Text to image. All right, so let's say we have this prompt, this one. I have this prompt, generate a high quality image of a human swimming gracefully under underwater in a crystal clear swimming pool. And then these are the detail. The person is wearing a bright swim cap and goggles. And these are many more details that I have just generated from the prompt that I have. And then you can define the aspect ratio. You can go with one by one for Instagram or 16 by nine for maybe um, YouTube or similar things. Okay, so you can generate videos for YouTube or if you want to go for maybe TikTok, you can go by with nine by 16. For this example, we'll go with 16 by nine. I will keep the, uh, the generating count at four and then we can just go ahead and see generate. And you can see it just takes in four of the credits that we have of uh, about 366. So you can just go ahead, uh, see generate. And let's give it some seconds to generate what we are looking for. Now, while we are waiting for it to generate, let's go back and generate also from um, from an from a text to a video. Let's try a text to video. So for AI text to video, we can uh, AI video generation. We can click on this, and then it's going to bring us over here. And you can just go ahead and start. Let's say we're going to select the model from here. Let's say we're going to use um, Clean 2.5 image to video. Um, we can just go ahead. Um, but for this case, we'll try text to video first. So we'll go to text to video and then we'll paste in our text as usual. This is generate a video of a giant monkey walking on a very busy highway during the daylight. The highway is filled with moving cars, trucks, and buses trying to navigate around the monkey. Okay, so let's let's have something like this. It's more much more detailed. But then let's say we'll go with something like this. So these are hint, hints like we have explained earlier on. You can have this kind of hint, the creativity, you can increase it, but I would like to keep it at default at this point. The mode, I want to keep it at standard mode. And then the duration, we can go up to 10 seconds if you want to go up to 10 seconds, but I keep it at default to make it simple. Just for the demonstration purpose, you'll be able to see how many and what we can generate. Now for video, it's quite expensive. It takes up to 20 credits if you want to generate a video. 
Now, if you are okay with this and you've set in the aspect ratio to maybe 16 by 9, or if you want to go with 16, 9 by 16 for TikTok or video shots, or if you want to go for Instagram, like one by one, which is 960 by 960, you can just go ahead and once you have everything set up, you can go ahead and say generate. Let's give you some seconds also to generate what we're looking for. So you can see uh, the estimated time is four minutes. And let's give it some time, some time to see what we would is going to generate. Now let's go back to our the image that it has generated. Of course, it has generated the image that we are looking for. The person is under the water. You can see only that it just gives us a small boy that's wearing the goggles and it's with the head cap. Okay, and you can see it is directly swimming on that water and you can see the different variations that we have. It's actually swimming on in the swimming pool and it's enjoying enjoying the moment. You can see it and you can go ahead and you can thumbs it this up or down or you can download it very easily. You can see it just gets downloaded very easily. You can see with just one click you have downloaded it. And it's very, very good and high quality. You can see it very, very clear. Only that it carries the Kling AI logo, which you can remove at any time if you're interested. Okay, so it's really wonderful. You can see what it has generated for us. Very, very clean video um, image of this guy, depending on how sharp and how clear we give you a prompt. And you can see over here, you can delete it or report something if you're interested. Okay, so this is the variations that we have. And it's really, really wonderful that uh, you can look at it can bring this to life if you want to um, make it move you can make it move maybe and give some further instructions maybe generate the streaming you know this is now going to be from image to video okay because it's possible to make it from video to image uh, from text to image or from video from image to video all right so let's check in the other one that we've generated um okay it's still generating two minutes to go Okay, so let's say we download this and after this, we are going to bring it to life by setting it to swim. Okay, so let's, um, well, let's try to bring it to life by setting it to swim, actually. And let's see, this is now going to be like you are going from image to video. Yeah, this is it, image to video. Uh, you can um, define the starting point and the ending point. But let's keep it at default and let's see what it is going to uh, generate. So let's give it the prompts down here. Um, okay, let the boy swim in different directions and then the motion uh, swimming settings, creativity, keep it at default, five seconds, number of counts, everything we keep at default. And then this is the navigating prompt. Let's keep everything at default and let's go ahead and generate something like this. And let's see how it is going to work so let's give it some seconds and see whether it is actually going to bring this guy to life okay so this is going to uh, transform it from image to video like we've seen here you can do the same also if you want to go directly from image to video if you have an, an image outside you can of course import it and then give it some prompt and it's going to change everything and bring it back to uh, bring it to life right so i think our video is ready you can actually see it here you can see and you can see it's just going to download with just this simple click and you can click over here to have it previewed if you want to actually preview it fully you can see the clarity actually is what i want the most the clarity and every detail of it we've captured okay so this is really really interesting and you can actually go ahead and give it a try and see what you can use uh, for your own content creation what you can generate with this wonderful tool uh, that is available now clink ai very very wonderful and interesting uh, please just go ahead and try let's just give it some seconds so we can see this last image how it is coming to life whether it's generating a video that will help but based on what we've instructed it to give us or not all right as you can see actually it has generated the video and you can see the boy is swimming and it's actually swimming in different directions as you can see it's changing direction uh, this is very very wonderful and you can as well download it or you can favorite this if you are interested okay so but the whole idea is the fact that it generates exactly what we ask it to generate and from images from image it brought the image back to life and this is really really wonderful so please go ahead explore it try it on your own and see what you can use it to uh, to create on your own content creation journey 
so this concludes this basic tutorial on how to use Kling AI to generate images and to generate videos as well from text and from images as well. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.